Hi everyone, it's Monty. Welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be a couple projects that I want to share with you using um, the dies from the April release from Scrap Diva Designs. Um, so let's just jump right into them. Um, first one I'm going to share with you is... Where is it? <laughs> It is this one, which is called Snail Mail Gift Card. So it's very easy to put together. You just cut the one piece out, fold it up. There's a square right here for the card. If you want to insert a card into it. And there's these kind of like curved pieces here that you can use to cut in um, space to hold your gift card if you want to, you know, put it in place. And then I think it also comes with the word... See if I can pull this out. I think it's the word mail. Snail mail. Okay, yeah, it comes with the word snail mail with the shadows around each one. Okay, so I didn't use the words on mine, but um, this is the little one I made. So I just cut it out of the pattern paper, and then um, this is all one piece. But after I cut it again out of the pink, and then I just um, cut around the design so that I could have you know some contrast between the two, so it would stand out more. And that's why I decided to to um, you know embroider, you know stitch around um, the snail. So I'm not a great <laughs> embroider. I I haven't really done any, but I uh, I tried. I even attempted some little French knots there for the tops of the little antenna things and the eye. Hmm, didn't do too, too bad, I guess, for my first time, but anyway, I just wanted it to stand out more, so that's what I did. Then I just put some cute little pieces of um, stickers and puffy stickers and flower I made and capsule leaves um, just to decorate up. Anyway, you just open it up and the car, uh, gift card fits right inside. I didn't use the um, little circles to um, cut mine to hold it. Um, I usually don't do that. I mean, you can do it so it'll you know stick up inside there and not fall off, but um, I didn't see any need for it in this one, so I just left it like is. And then I could have put in the square piece just for like a note card too if you wanted to, but I didn't use that here. So, cute little um, gift card holder. So that's the first one. I don't remember. I posted this on Instagram, but I don't remember if I did a video on it. So, um, but this is using the um, rainbow pocket die set. Um, I just made a cute little rainbow pocket. Um, the papers I'm using here, um, the collection is Chasing Dreams. And so I just kind of cut out the rainbow pieces, kind of alternated you know the design I wanted um, I stitched on a few of the layers and then I added some tiny little um, flowers that I had in my stash some chipboard and stickers and stuff from the collection tiny little um, you know like cabochon piece right there this word spring is oops is from an old set from Scrap Diva it was called spring words too and it has the word spring in it uh, right here and it's got a shadow piece so I use that on there and then this I just put this hello this is one of those clear stickers from the sticker book so hello spring and a cute little birdie I think it turned out very cute so that is the rainbow pocket and then next up I believe I posted a picture of this on Instagram too this is a card that I made using the paint tube shakers so you get the paint tube and then you have the layering piece so you can uh, make it a shaker if you want the paintbrush the like if you squirt out the paint and then labels for the uh, for the tube and it comes it get you get two different sizes okay uh, this one I used the small size because I was putting it on a card and um, so what I did was um, took my green piece right here um, and then I cut out the tube out of you know out of the, the green piece 
and then I um, mounted foam underneath all of these around all these so that I could um, pop it up and make a shaker out of it so there's shaker um, bits in inside these so these are shakers um, I went ahead and took the layering piece that normally you would layer um, on top if I was to make it like just you know the tube by itself that I would use like as a piece of ephemera I just inlaid that back on top just to um, you know give it more design and stuff um, I used the paintbrush this is the large paintbrush from the large one <coughs> excuse me just because I wanted a larger piece to go right there so but I did the same thing on all three of these these are just some little stickers from the collection on this one I made rather than using the squirt like a tube I made it look like some of the um, you know the sequins were pouring out of the tube so I thought that was pretty cute this word hello crafty friend I have it the shadow piece is cut out of vellum and then the um, you know the word other word piece um, cut out of the pink and that I'm using a older set from Scrap Diva also it is called just called hello crafty friend so I think these I can't remember if these were a set or if they were separate but I'll link them however they however they are if they're still available okay so this are these are super handy for like cards and that kind of stuff because of the size of it so really like that so that's what I used here this right here I used strips from the I used the um, purse strap bundle which comes with all these different I think there's seven different pieces scallops and doilies and hearts and then straight pieces so you can layer it this is a really must have for your stash because you can end, add a handle if you're just talking handles you can add it to just about <laughs> anything you know what I mean so um, very good um, set to have so anyway I just cut out a couple strips and just used them as straight pieces just to kind of um, you know kind of ground my um, my card here and then I just put a piece of chipboard down there on the corner so I think it turned out really cute I didn't stamp anything on the inside yet just because I'm not sure who or what I'm going to send it for but I think it turned out really pretty um, on the back I used the stamp set it's the stamp and die stamp set from Scrap Diva also and it's this set that is called postage stamp and die set so you get this one die which I love this die all this little um, the dotted you know pierced um, holes all around and then it comes with all these different um, sayings nine different sayings that are perfect for happy mail and other things too so anyway I just stamped this one on here just created with love in the back and then I'll probably just sign my name or something so I think that turned out really cute cute little card so I made that and then lastly <clears throat> it's kind of two projects uh, yeah two projects in one so I made another one of these I have already made one um, just kind of basic one um, at the when I first got the set to um, just to show you know what it looks like together and this, this one's a little bit more decorated and stuff so still using chasing dreams I got a bunch of ephemera pieces and stickers and chipboard and this is a flower that was in my stash I was gifted from somebody um, this is one of the little gem things that came with the, the collection this is one of those um, this was in the same collection it was like a sticker I pulled off the backing to, so it's not a sticker anymore because it has a hole up there so I was able to make a um, charm out of it I added it another charm here and then I used one of the um, the set that I'm using is called the heart gift bag and it doesn't come with this um, strap but I decided to use again the purse the purse uh, strap set I use the kind of the bigger um, kind of it reminds me kind of like a rickrack shape and then I used a straight shape there's a straight one on the center to layer it up and I attached it in between my two layers here I had started to put it on the side 
um, and I centered it, <laughs> thinking, uh, forgetting that it wasn't going to, um, you know, fold very well once I centered it. Um, so I took it back off and then I mounted it to the back. Um, and then so then I just cut another one of the layering pieces, this other piece back here, and then sandwiched it in between so it would be covered up. So I think it turned out really cute. And then, um, I love this one. I, this, this fits so much and it's just such a cute little thing. And it's like the easiest die to put together. One of the most easy ones I've ever put together. So, really fun. And then I just Velcroed <coughs> the um, top. And then inside, <coughs> I made it to house my next dice that I'm featuring, which is the Conversation Hearts number two. There were some of these that were released for the, um, you know, for Valentine's. Um, these are more kind of male and crafty type. So what I decided to do with them was um, I made um, some little tiny um, note cards out of them. So I got one of each of the sayings. So this one's hello, hello, crafty friend. And they're just very, very minimally decorated just because, well, I just wasn't sure what the person might want to use them for. So they just have like a twine bow on the top of each one. A tiny, tiny, tiny little nail art type um, resin bow there. And then just like a, uh, a heart sticker. And then they're blank inside. I wasn't to stamp something, but I think I think I'm just gonna leave them because I'm not sure what you know when I'm gonna gift them what for. So anyway, this cute little thing. And then I made envelopes for each one. So there's that one. I just think it's made a cute little um, set. So the next one, you got this. Again, pretty much they're all decorated the same, just you know different placement and stuff, but. The same elements and then again a um, an envelope to match it and then this one says handmade love that this one says you are loved and then I got this one that says goodies and then lastly let's swap so I think these are just came out really cute, cute little gift card set, you know, note card set that a crafty friend would love. Of course, a lot of these you could, you know, this could be for anybody. You are loved. I mean, you could use that in anything. Um, you got this. If you wanted to encourage somebody, you know, send out one of these little things handmade. You could always put one of these in something that you made to send to somebody or, you know, that kind of thing. So I just, this is a very fun set. So those are the little gift cards that I made. <clears throat> Not gift cards, um, note cards. And then I just have them tucked back in there. I, I have them kind of like tucked hang, hanging over each of the <clears throat> cards. And then I just stuck them, I stick them kind of towards the front and then towards the back so it can still be folded in. And then I just uh, Velcro that. And there's a cute little note card set. Love it. Let me know what you think, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, be sure to like this video and um, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I enjoy um, all the comments and stuff that I see from people. So thank you so much for watching. I will list um, all of Erica's information down below with links um, to all the dyes that I've used and my discount code um if you decide to pick any of these up be sure to use it it's polka 10 um that'll save you some money at checkout and then i'll link all the dies too with my um affiliate link if you do use those links it shares a little bit of the sale with me when it doesn't cost you anything more to use it so anyway plus it just makes it real handy to get to the spot where you need to find the die okay thank you so much for watching guys i'll be back soon bye